I'd like to discuss the subject of what's called e-begging. That there's a big stigma attached to um, telling people publicly on the internet that they need money. Uh, I'm making this video from an, an RV park where I live in uh, rural New Mexico. I live in a 30-foot travel trailer. Half my income goes to rent to basically live in a parking lot. Um, I live in a very small town. And I have no peer support here. I mean, there, there are churches everywhere. There's uh, gossip, prejudice, small-mindedness, and no jobs. No jobs, no public transportation. I have no car. My life is very hard. I have no peers and I have no friends here so far. I've been here about six or eight months and I find it's best if I just stay to myself and uh, try to not attract any attention. The reason I produce YouTube videos, and I've just started, so don't expect a huge archive. The reason I produce YouTube videos, the reason I maintain blogs, and the reason I maintain a website and interact on Facebook and so on is because, frankly, I need the stimulation, I need the education, and I need to feel like I'm useful in the world. I've done a lot of volunteer work through the Internet. I've even had a couple of little small paying jobs as, a, uh, as an author for an online magazine and so on. Um, without Internet access... I don't, you know, my DSL has been intermittent the last few days, and a guy came out to repair it today, and he, he's stymied, he doesn't know what's going on, but last night when I couldn't get through a YouTube video without going offline at least five times for a, like, six-minute video, when I could not check or reply to email, when I could not uh, look at or post to Facebook, I was profoundly aware of how isolated I am without internet access. My internet access costs $40 a month, which is very reasonable, relatively speaking. However, my income is $700 a month, and half of it goes to rent for lot space here. So I don't have a lot of money to for anything. Um, if I'm going to eat a gourmet meal, it's because I cooked it. I am doing my laundry right now. Behind me um, is a pot on a hot plate. That's my dishes. And over there in that black trash barrel is some laundry because I can't get to the laundromat, nor can I really afford to spend the money at the laundromat. So I wash my clothes out by hand. The kitchen's too small to wash dishes indoors. I have plumbing issues, so I don't have running water, so I collect um, jugs and buckets of water uh, for flushing the toilet, for bathing, that sort of thing. I have a really hard life. Uh, I'm not complaining. I've adapted to it. But a lot of other people would uh, really bitch and holler about the way I have to live. Now, I'm not e-begging, whatever that means. The concept of e-begging sounds to me like it came from probably upper middle class, probably able-bodied, probably male, probably college-educated people, because back in the day, of course, that's who primarily used the Internet. These days, it's still really true. However, people of color, people with disabilities, older people, um, women, um, queers, People who haven't had a lot of education are now starting to access the Internet. Self-publication is transformative. Uh, my ability to be able to actually state something out in the universe, and maybe a few people might actually hear me, has really been transformative. I feel like I'm making a difference. Instead of sitting in some project or some slum, um, just trying to avoid the bullets as they fly and... Uh, 
sneaking off to the grocery store and hoping I don't get mugged on the way back, that kind of thing. There's nothing more disabling, more demoralizing, and more detrimental to my mental health than to feel helpless in poverty. Because I'm online, because I'm producing videos, etc., I don't feel so helpless and I don't feel powerless. Maybe an illusion. I don't know. I think I may be contributing something. Maybe. Nothing big, nothing grand, but something. Now, a couple of years ago, my computer sound card went down. Apparently I had a virus or something. doesn't matter. Uh, I took out a payday loan for $125 online so that I could have a new con uh, reconditioned computer sent to my house from eBay for $125, and that included shipping, insurance, and everything else. And that saved my life. But a $150 loan every six months, you know, that's not very much, plus the interest and fees and whatnot. Uh, I can't go to the bank and say I need a loan for this, that, and the other because I'm too low income. I have an impeccable credit rating, but that doesn't mean I can get any credit toward buying a vehicle or anything like that because my uh, the ratio of my income to uh, whatever credit, however they do that magic, they say, yeah, you've got perfect credit, but you can't get any because you don't have enough income. 700 bucks a month is, well, for those of you who aren't in the United States, I'm well below half, I'm half below the poverty line. Um, I could earn twice as much and still be considered poor in this country. Um, I have no dental care, no easy access to medical care, and I do it all by myself. And occasionally there's an emergency. And if I need to ask for some help, it's not like I haven't contributed anything. No, I don't have a regular full-time job. I have disabilities. I live in a rural area where there are no jobs. Um, and I'm kind of painted in a corner. But I do contribute to the community. I contribute any way I know how. Um, mewling information back and forth to Libya and to Egypt um, during the Arab Spring. Now mewling information around about Occupy Wall Street. I can't participate in any other way, but I can make sure that people are informed and uh, connecting with each other. I can write chants. Um, I can design pictures, posters. Uh, so I can help out with morale and consequently help out with my own morale. So this stigma about e-begging is, to me, a petty class distinction. It's it's an elite distinction of, I'm just going to go ahead and say it, primarily middle class, upper middle class, college educated, Anglo-Saxon males, heterosexual males, able-bodied males, who um, have the privilege of uh, being able to afford uh, having, what's it called, disposable income? I have disposable income. I pick out of a dumpster. You know, the shirt I'm wearing, uh, some of the stuff right around me is from the dumpster, so I have disposable income because somebody else disposed of it. Um, so putting a stigma on people who don't have that class privilege and don't have those options, it doesn't do anything to enhance the quality of the Internet, and it certainly doesn't do anything to enhance the quality of life for people who are economically disadvantaged and vulnerable. You want to call it e-begging? Go ahead. But when I'm in a financial crisis and it looks like I'm going to have to go offline or, um, I, you know, I've been on the verge of homelessness and people put me up in a hotel for the night, uh, friends on Facebook, that kind of thing. Uh, and it was really an emergency. It was a, if, if I don't do something right away, I could die. Uh, I didn't ask for money. People volunteered it because they know who I am and they, they know that I'm not um, a fake and a phony. That's the problem is there's so many damn charlatans and fakes. And, you know, you're atheists. You understand about fakes. 
turn on any Christian television network. But I ain't about that. I go without a lot of stuff to maintain my dignity and my independence. But when I need help, I feel like I've made a contribution and I don't think there's anything wrong in me asking for what I need. Um, I'd rather turn it around and start calling it e-assistance that we um, support each other. Not that we look down our noses at each other because some of us can and some of us can't. So I don't know about uh, the video I'm responding to. The guy said some guy was e-begging and so he unsubscribed from the channel. I don't know anything about the guy. I don't know anything about what he's trying to do, blah, blah, blah. I can't speak to that, uh, whether you're right or wrong for unsubscribing to a channel because somebody quote-unquote e-begged. Uh... So I can't address that because I don't know the circumstances. The person has websites and can't afford to keep them up, blah, blah, blah. I've been paying ten fifty a month for my domain for years and years and years and years because it's important to me. And I go without a lot of stuff, but thank goodness there's dumpsters to die because that's where the shoes come from. Uh, I don't know this person's circumstances. I do know there's a depression going on. You can call it a recession. You can call it a financial upheaval, whatever. You know what? People are in the streets with cardboard box signs getting the hell knocked out of them by cops because the banks are sitting pretty and we're all hurting. We're all hurting. Even the ones of us who are employed, we're hurting. I can't even afford eggs this month. They've gone up double. I'm waiting for them to go on sale so they get down to the right price so I can afford them. Um, I go without, but I don't miss it as much because I can watch videos of astronomy lectures and uh, biological sciences and neurochemistry and <coughs> economic theories and, you know. Don't call me a beggar. There's a lot of homeless people out here that need to ask for a little change. I don't know why begging is stigmatized. People who are ripping other people off and conning people need to be cons. But to put a stigma on the word begging, not so much. Hey, listen, my dog's over there chewing up something he's not supposed to chew up, so I have to knock this off now. Thanks for your time. Bye.